Don't get confused if you didn't understand anything. Just watch the last video again slowly and have a peek at the rap videos at video 17 which explain a bit more about the compiler, the preprocessor, source files and header files and stuff like that. The funny thing is that every specific source file which the compiler will compile is a separate thing for itself and doesn't know of anything else. What I mean by that is that over here in tutorial.cpp where I have my main function this source file doesn't know anything about soldiers not the declaration, not the definition, nothing. This source file is a separate entity for itself which has nothing to do with the rest of the source code you may have typed in a hundred or a thousand different files. The only thing which this cpp file knows about is its own business which is whatever header files you gave it and whatever code you typed inside of it. And that's it. So this file tutorial.cpp doesn't know nothing about soldiers and that stuff and soldier.cpp file over here doesn't know anything about the main function and IO stream or things like that. The only thing soldier.cpp knows is that it has a whole bunch of code from here with which we included over here and then it has just all of this code that it has to compile and that's it. So if source files are compiled as different entities altogether how will I be able to use a soldier inside of the main function? Right over here we will get a lot of compiler errors because in our source file over here we never declared what in the world is a soldier and what is attack and what is be attacked and, and those stuff. Oh, but you're going to tell me, yes, we did declare them, right over here, in this file, solder.cpp and solder.h. Yeah, well, that's a different source file, which has nothing to do with our world of our cpp file. It's two different things altogether. The compiler will make an object file out of this cpp file, and another object file out of the other cpp file, and there is apparently no connection between the two. So how do I have a soldier in my main function? Isn't that the point of why we created the whole soldier class? Because we want to use it in our main function? Well, here's the tricky part which you have to understand. What we are going to do over here is include the solder.h file, the header file in which we declared the solder class. And of course, as we learned, what happens over here is that the preprocessor opens up the file solder.h, copies all the text that's inside over there, and just pastes it all right on the spot in this cpp file. So right now it's as if we had all of this stuff all of this stuff typed up right over here where we typed include solder.h. So for now we have a declaration of what the soldier class is because we included solder.h. Now if you followed along until now you will probably wonder but wait a minute if we are in our own separate world of our source file, which has nothing what to do with soldier.cpp, then it looks like we only have the declaration of the soldier class, but we don't have the definition. And of course, we must have a definition along with the declaration. It's not possible to create a function, it's not possible to declare a function without later on, at some point, defining it. If I do that, I'm going to have a compiler error. So apparently we have this very same problem right over here because we included the declaration of the soldier class but we don't have at all the definition of the soldier class because the world of that definition has nothing what to do with our world. They are two separate source files, two separate cpp files. You might think, oh well let's just go ahead and include the solder.cpp file and problem solved. We've just included the declaration of the class, and right now we have also the definition of the class. Problem solved. Well, unfortunately, there is no such thing as including a source file, a .cpp file. .cpp files are what the compiler actually compiles, like we learned. You don't include a .cpp file inside of another .cpp file. That doesn't make any sense. That will make your program have hundreds of errors and stuff like that. You, don't want, you do not want to do that, that is not the correct way of doing it. The real solution 
is that actually that is the job of the linker. When the linker takes the object file from tutorial.cpp and the object file from solder.cpp and it combines them together to make our .exe program, that's when the connection between the two worlds meet. That's when the declaration of the soldier class over here meets the definition of the soldier class which was in a different source file. So leave that headache to the linker to figure out. All you need to know is that you have to include the header that declares something and once you already have its declaration you can go ahead and use that declaration as much as you like. You can make soldier instances right over here. You can call the functions. You can call the functions and pass variables and do whatever you'd like because all we really need is just the declaration. The definition is in a different source file which the linker will take care of bringing together with our source file. Oh, and by the way, if you're using, like me, Microsoft Visual Studio, please go into your source files, every single one of them, whenever you create them, and add this very annoying uh, extra line on top, include stdafx.h, the same line that we had in the main source file right over here. You're going to have to add that to every single one of the source files that you create, unless you disable a certain option in the project properties which we're not going to look at right now. So just forget about the details surrounding this thing over here. Just add it to all of your source files and you'll be okay. Like you see I just added it to this source file and we have it already added in this source file so everything's good. So if you followed along you'll realize that this header file which declares the soldier class is actually going to be included twice in two different source files. It's going to be included once over here so that we know the declaration to be able to make the definition and again in our main source file over here so that we'll be able to use the class and make uh, instances and call functions of it etc. As your program get more complicated it's going to start happening more often that header files will be included uh, several different times into several different source files and sometimes that could cause you headaches because sometimes using include too much can sometimes make this source uh, this header file to be included twice in the same place which is pretty bad because you can't define you can't declare the same thing twice but we're going to go into those details a different a different time for now let's just clear up one more last thing we have a little problem over here in our soldier source file and that is that we are using c out right over here when in fact in our world of our source file over here we never declared and we never knew what in the world is this cout thing over here. We did take care of this issue long ago in our tutorial.cpp in our main source file when we included iostream and we were using namespace std but that's a different world altogether which has nothing what to do with us we will need to do that very same thing all over again for our own source file. So adding those two lines right over here should solve the problem. As a matter of fact, I like to put this type of stuff uh, inside of the header file that is already included, meaning right over here, so that anything that needs to be included and declared and defined for my CPP file is all taken care of inside of the de designated header file which in our case is soldier.h meaning that if after a while you suddenly realize that you have like 10 different include stuff that you need to include you don't want to have all of them in your .cpp file what you would want to do is take all of them to your header file and you only include your specific header file once and your header file will take care of the rest so this is pretty much how you would arrange your C++ code you will have several CPP files which will be including a lot of header files. Many times you'll have a pair of a header file that belongs with a source file and in the header file you will prepare everything that needs to be prepared, all the declarations and all the header files that's needed and then in the CPP file you will implement, you will define all the details of whatever was declared in the designated header file. And again, in order for two different source files to be able to see each other's stuff, 
for example, the soldier.cpp file for him to be able to implement, to define the definitions of the soldier class and for our main source file to be able to use that soldier class, all you need to do is share a common header file which has the declaration of this class and the linker will take care of the rest.